This is a glimpse into my life. Life with Eric. Eric's here. And I'm Kylie. And I'm Eric. Okay, I think we know who you are. Oh. I've got one word for you. What's that, dear? Rejuvenated. Yes. I feel rejuvenated. <laughs> we, we've, we're back. We are back. We had to put a, we, we got a week off of podcasting. We actually got like two weeks off if you think about it. Kind of seems like an eternity. It kind of does. Like I kind of almost yeah. forgot what like these headphones feel like. Yeah. It's, and it's weird when we were, we were like, God, what are we going to talk about? I got, we got shit tons to we talk about. We have so much to talk about. We've been to Key West. Yes. We've been to a birthday party. Mine. <laughs> we've been to. I'm not sure if we can say we've been to your birthday party yet. I didn't even get a party this year. Right. It's today. We're going to do it today. Shit. I'm doing it. This is my party right now. No, after this. Oh, after this is my party. Yeah. Are oh, our friends coming over? Yeah. Yeah. Couple. Oh, a couple friends are coming over. Oh, yeah. that'd be great. <laughs> right? They're all lining up. Buy tickets, right. folks. Yes. Buy tickets. Buy tickets. To the Eric show? Yeah, Jim Blossoms are playing at my party. Ooh. I'm sure they are. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Would that be stupid or what? No, that'd be great. If the Jim Blossoms played? Yes. Yeah. Is Make my gin day. Gin Blossoms? Gin, as in the drink. Gin. As in the drink. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What did you think it was, Jim? I thought it was like Jim. Like, oh, no, gin, as in, like, a drink. like the What's alcohol. your name, Jim Blossom? <laughs> <laughs> they think they make gin out of, like, a gin blossom. I just made that up. <laughs> you totally made that up. I have no idea. But gin tastes kind of leafier or ever. It's like no, a little, like, it like pine, tree. pine tree. Yeah. Yeah, so that could be the blossom in it. Oh, where are we going with this? Right. But we are ju- rejuvenated. We, uh, that's what Key West will do to you. Uh, I'm not sure you. if Key West rejuvenates you or, like, takes you to rock bottom, and then you got to come back. Yeah, killed a couple brain cells, but, <laughs> you know. I think I hit couple, rock bottom a couple nights. But, yeah. <laughs> Me, personally. I don't know about Why? you. Why? Why do you hit rock bottom? I just drink too much. Oh, yeah, yeah. When we're out having fun, I just can't say no. And then I'm like, what the hell? And the next thing I know, Kylie will be sitting there in some trashy woman in a black dress with her cooter hanging out, sitting on Kylie's lap, telling her a life story about her Oh, my God, I know. And stuff. And I'm like, what are you, is this she like your best friend now? Uh, yes, apparently. I mean, she barely had teeth, this lady. She had teeth. They just look crooked. <laughs> well, the guy she's dancing with didn't have teeth. Let's, possibly. Let, let's say that. That is possibly correct. <laughs> it's like, who is this lady? I don't know. I know. We were kind of like I didn't know she had leopard print fun. underwear on, though, because I saw her panties oh. a thousand fucking <laughs> times. <laughs> That's Key West for you at the best right there. Uh, that's not the best. The best would be no panties. Yeah, but, well, that's true. <laughs> Meat curtains. Oh, yep. <laughs> that's, <laughs> and we saw a few that? of those as well. We said we did see those. Yes, we did. They have everything in Key West. They I'll do you. everything. You want it? You good? Yeah. You can have it. You yeah. want a big, thick dick? Done. A big, thick what? Dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except for, sadly, we saw that as well. See that every night. <laughs> <laughs> That is not true. I saw somebody else's yeah, this trip. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, <laughs> actually, uh, earmuffs, kids. <laughs> uh, scratch that and put, get your magnifying glass out, Keeks. Magnifying glass. Right, right. I don't need no magnifying glass. Yeah, Kylie glass. and I went there. There's a lot of bars in Key West. We, There's a ton. We're not young anymore. Way that's more for sure. than I, I actually expected. It's, it's, yeah, it's kind of like, if you haven't been to Key West, folks, it's a little bit... Nashville, it's like Nashville. Nashville it is, is where very everything much like has Nashville. live music and maybe Austin, Te- Austin Texas. Austin, Texas. I don't remember Austin, I don't Ish. But it's or, a little Nashville y. Yeah. There's a good music. Live music, like yeah. a lot of comedy type stuff mm-hmm. going on, a lot of shows and bullshit going yeah, on. Yeah, there's like the main drag, like Broadway in Nashville, and then like the sidebars that are yeah. also great where we learn. It's key and it's, it's kind of, you know, it's tropical and you can just wear t shirts, whatever yes. you want to dress up. You walk up around or, with your drink. Yeah, you can walk around, you can walk around in anything. Yes. I basically wore my boxers one day. You did on that last night. It's like you were fr- finally, like, after seven days, also, you came out. Yeah, all of a sudden, I feel free. I feel free in freaking um, uh, Key West. Yeah. It took me seven days. I did. I feel free and light and flamboyant. That's what and I felt. And flashy. And flashy. <laughs> <laughs> I flashed my ween one time, and no, you're no, acting no, like no. it's like a... That was that not was a total, one. That was a total joke, too. It was about... Five times. Kylie and I, we go to this real <laughs> fancy bar called the Saints. Right, which you had these like sweat shorts on. Yeah, my mom a got me. T-shirt, and they were really bright and big. Bag- yes. I'm wearing these in Key West because it feels like I'm just wearing my boxers. So I wear no underwear. And with it's them. like the longer you wore loose, them, too. the looser they got. <laughs> They're like almost like long underwear. They stretch out. Yes, and then you were like stretching them out and flashing <laughs> peeps. That's probably the only time in my life I've ever done that. In I my life. totally believe that, actually, yeah. knowing you. I mean, I am so self conscious. I yeah, know. I don't want anybody to see my little ween. And, you, you were know, just. And, yeah. And yeah. I was like, here you go, Kylie. And then we, and like, then we walked down the street and you did it again. I was like, right. we're going to get t- kicked out of this bar. <laughs> we're kicked out of the state. Possibly. No, I, I, I was just out of my mind, having a little fun. <laughs> right? Right. 
I mean, but why? How come you know? If I flashed a tit, they'd be like, "Cool, right on." But how come we can't flash a weed? I mean, you can if I you mean, want. I it's, don't know it, much how how that's cool. People because would be. men's genitalia are not very attractive. is gross. <laughs> And you know how we know that? We went to this bar called Adam and Eve. Oh, yeah, we did. And Kylie and I, we're like voyeurs. Actually, one, first of all, it's not called Adam and Eve. You've renamed this bar in your head for 20 years. What's it's called the Garden of Eden. Oh, yeah, Garden of Eden. <laughs> Never mind. I thought it was called Adam and Eve. It, it should be called Adam and Eve. <laughs> it, should be, uh, it should be called Eve and Gross Guys. Right. <laughs> I Basically, actually, though. I actually, when I went up into that bar, I didn't actually think people were going to have Dick's well, out. it's funny because you had told me I about was, this like, bar topless. for like years. You told me about this bar. I was that there you in my 20s. Wrong also, and yeah. you're like, everybody's topless, guys and girls. Great. I'm right. like, okay, that's I didn't noth- think bottomless. Yeah, it's I like never thought that. not nothing for a guy to be topless. Right. So we stroll in, and what do we see? A bunch of naked dudes. Old dudes, young dudes, whatever. All and kinds then, and there was one chick that was like, "Oh, she has her top off," but the, there was like five guys, naked guys, right, full on. Buck naked guys. Yeah. All different. All different. All different shapes all different and every, sizes. All different shapes and sizes. Yep. Uh, piercing. Yep. We saw The piercing. one guy had a, a ring in his ween. Yeah. The St. Albert. I don't like that. I'm called Prince Albert. There's Prince nothing Albert. attractive about that. Uh, nope. I don't, That's find, disgusting. I don't find that one. That guy was real disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the grossest. I mean, I got to say, he's not body conscious, I guess. No, good for him. Right. I mean- if he could do that, I should just do what he did because that I right. I, I probably just look better than that out guy. And dance around. Yeah, well, I look better than that guy. You do, but you know, I'm a little more, you know, self conscious. Yeah, but Kylie and I were like voyeurs. Oh my god, I know. We, we just, just sat on the bench watching. and staring at people like yep. quietly. Yep. And right across the way was this old guy with this big old beer belly. At least you were doing what he was doing with like slippers on, naked, naked. With his little button out. Little button out. I'm, I don't, nothing wrong with that. I would look yeah. the same way, probably. It's a little, little and scared button. A little scared man. But. <laughs> he would, like, get up and start, like, watching people there. dance. And, and he'd what sit is down, this and guy? then he'd get up again. Like, what was he, did he guy? want somebody to dance with him? Was he looking for a dance partner? I don't know. Like, if you would have went to ask him to dance, he just went out there and He probably would have danced with, with yeah. me. But then there got some more girls out there with their tops off. Yep. Boobs. Everything. All everything out. All different sizes. Yep. Big to little. Yep. And everything, uh, yeah. I mean, the gr- it's much easier to watch the girls, even if you are a girl. Give me a break, right? I'll Geeks. agree, yeah. The l- men are a little disturbing, and especially <laughs> in, that, in that setting they are. But there was this couple out there that were, like, literally, like, dancing like they were in the nightclub in Vegas. Which couple are we talking on about? The, it's clothed or not clothed? The two buck naked couple. Oh, okay. The one with the with piercing the in his ween. And yes. then the, the girl was, like, a, a skinny girl, but she was, like, Spreading her legs and oh my just god, doing they everything. they yeah, he was literally just like you weren't naked on the ground, dirty like dancing, rolling, rolling on the <laughs> dirty like, old ground, Ugh. everything and yes. like, what is going on? Yeah, I'm gonna guess. And we maybe were just they like, were on something. I think they had to have been. Yeah, they were like they look like at the nightclub on you yeah. know ecstasy or Molly or something like that. They probably were then. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> and then we look over to our left. Oh. And there's an older couple and a woman that has her like shirt in, off. Like in her 60s? She was probably fifth, high 50s to 60, and the guy was definitely like 62, let's yes, say. Yes, yes. And she had her top off. She had pink shorts on, and she, you know, she fun. Yeah. She, I, he, I, had nothing he, no, I had no problem with her. He and she's kept, standing in front of him. Yeah. They're kind of dancing slow. Well, he kept trying to take her pants and off. And he kept trying to take her pants off. I'm like, dude, just let her keep her pants on. Who cares? She didn't want her. You could tell. She didn't want to take her and pants then he, off. She's 60 years old. He took his pants off. So he takes his pants off. <laughs> And he has a boner. 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 <laughs> Straight out. Oh. I mean, you he, he, seen that commercial with the bent carrot? Yeah, I sure have. Kind of like that. I know. It was a little bent. Little Peronis or whatever little they call Peyronie's it. Peyronis disease. What they call that? Little Peyronis. Yeah, but I didn't like the fact that he's trying to pull her pants down. And there is a no sex policy in this Yeah, dance there's a club. no sex policy. So I'm like, what are you doing with your boner over there? I felt a boner was inappropriate. I kind of agree. Because you, I don't think I would pop a bone. I don't want to pop a boner in that place. Right. In front of people and everything else, Maybe too. Maybe he took, like, a pill or something. Oh, he could have. He could have took a Viagra or something like that. Yeah. It was dark, too. It, w- it was kind of dark. dark. It was a weird color. <laughs> it was, it was like, a weird color. It was a little bent and a weird color. Right. But. How long was it? Like, five inches? Um, a little. Was that? It wasn't that I big, mean, yeah. Like average, whatever. It wasn't, like, teeny, but it wasn't, like, great. Just you didn't really want to look at it. it no. Was, yeah. 
I mean, I if he was a younger I guy, yeah. You, I didn't yeah, really yes, you look did at look it. at it. I didn't want to look no, at it. No, but yeah. I looked and was like, oh my God. Why I do we get real quiet? Like, we're like we're whispering. I know what like, I mean. Like, we're, no, we're totally like whispering to it's each like other. It's like we're in the club. Like, and, there's oh nobody, and there's nobody around us right or now. Or a boner in my ear. Right, yeah. So it was real close. It was real head. close. It wasn't that close to my head. I'm exaggerating. And then they would sit back down and like smoke cigarettes. Well, and he, well, first of all, <laughs> he was smoking. I've actually saw, there. I've never seen so many people smoking as I have in Key West. I think it's a thing. And the well, there's a lot of uh, people yeah. from, you know, South America, so uh, Brazil, guy, Cuba. Cuba. Cuban people have smoked. Yeah, man. so this yeah. guy had a cig, lit cig a lot, and he right. did. I did witness him burn his wife's hand once. <laughs> the lady in the pink shorts? Yes, because he put his hand on her hips. I think she was irritated with him. And she had to have And been. her ha- arm came down and burned it. Should have so, burned, like, burned that, her wrist. Should have burnt that boner off of him. Oh, right. So, but he kept, go like, putting his pants right on. Down. Smoking a cigarette and then taking his pants off again. It, like he, you know, he, he, put got, his pants, he got dressed and undressed right. about four times. Yeah, he would, he would put his pants on, smoke a cigarette, then take his pants off, and then put his pants. It was on. real weird. Just leave him off, dude. Right. What, or what leave are you him doing? On. Pick a, pick a stay in a lane. Yeah, but I thought it was funny. Like the the girls in that place, there were, there were some young girls in that place, attractive yes, young girls, yeah. and they were they were. They would dance in, and their boyfriend would take, like, his shirt off, and you'd see the boyfriend's like, take your shirt off, take your shirt off, take right. your shirt off. And then they finally would, and they had a ball. They kind of wanted to take yes. their shirt off. Yeah. But it's weird. When you're around everybody dancing on the dance floor, you don't, you're not you're looking at it that much. It's like, right. It's almost like they had clothes on. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, then we just left. We did. And Kylie got ID'd before we went in that place, Oh, too. my God. It was amazing. Best night. This lady is obsessed with Kylie. She did She's love like, me. I know. I'll There's take ba- it. She was like a... a uh, a bouncer. older bouncer lady. Right, yeah. Older bouncer lady that was yeah. checking ID, which I yeah. thought was odd, because usually it's a big old dude. True. Yeah. But uh, anyway, that was her yeah. what, I got ID called, she her thought, Garden of Eden experience. Yes. She th- I just thought she made my day because she thought I was 22. Right. And I was like, are you joking? 22? I'll take it. Yeah, what am I, her grandpa? Right. And then I said, well, no, this is my husband. And she's like, no, he's not. And I was like, no, he is. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be right. Really, he is. Yeah. Why did that happen? I don't know. Because <laughs> I just look so youthful. Right. But that was the most interesting night. That one maybe might have been our most and, interesting. And it's not night. like we ever went back there either. We did. We, we did just it. We thought. It we lot. thought about that we might, but we never did. No, yeah, never went back. But that's what you can do in Key West, folks. You can go to those you weird places. You can go places. dancing naked. Right. You can flash a crowd. Yeah. Every a lot of the people that play music there ask the women to show their tits. They do? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Show your tits. Show your when? tits. That guy at Rick's all the time. Show, show us one tit. Show us two tits. Oh, he show did us. say that. Yeah. He was all the time. And so that makes it interesting and kind of fun in the bars. Right. But he said he keeps getting, nowadays, he can't say shit. You can't say all the woke stuff and everything. So he, he says, says it, though. He, yeah, he says it anyway. Him. And he's like, I'm going to keep saying it. I don't care. Like, he says, but everybody complains every night. Well, but I, I no enjoyed that guy. He was funny. Yeah. Did you like Irish Kevin's? Um, I did. They had a really good. Oh, no, that was a different, that that was Sloppy Irish, Joe's. Irish Kevin. <laughs> sloppy Joe's. Um, Yeah, I think I liked Sloppy Joe's better, though. Oh, Irish Kevin's is a place where they have, like, they play, like, rock and roll music, and they talk to the audience, make fun of everybody, and everybody's, it's a shit show. The first night we went there, it was kind of funny, because they had, like, the people up there, and they were doing shots, and, like. Yeah, they were taking so the, shots. So the and first night, dancing. Like, the Irish Kevin's was pretty funny. The second time we went there, I didn't have as much fun. Oh, okay, well, I thought you did. Not at that What about bar those two people that were going to have sex in the bathroom? Oh, yeah, that was funny. Yeah. And we're like, oh, my God, they're going to have sex in the bathroom. They didn't, we learned. Right. I For thought they did. Reason. I just thought no. they did because the guy came out with his hair all messy. No, I said, <laughs> oh, because I was talking like, to Whoa, him. what's going on? Like, yeah. No, we didn't do it. Oh. He's like, but I think they have in the past. They're like, you got to try it. Right. Something was going on in there. I don't know. And another Same. popular bar in Key West is Sloppy Joe's. And when they say there. Sloppy Joe's, everybody's sloppy. Right. Everybody's. I wonder if Joe LaMonica's ever been to Sloppy Joe's. Uh, I don't know, but he should. I'm sure he has. We should have got him a shirt. Oh, yeah. Sloppy Joe's. There we go. We I met, had fun there. We met this couple in Sloppy Joe's. Yeah, we did. I just found this out from you. <laughs> 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 Tiffany and Chad. <laughs> Tiffany and Chad. I didn't know Chad was deaf. <laughs> Chad was a little deaf. Not totally deaf, but a little deaf. I'm talking to the guy all night. Well, no, you you don't. I apparently don't recall. I had no clue the guy was deaf. At the beginning, you're like, I, he can't hear me. I don't know what's wrong. And then he's like, I don't hear very well. And his wife's like, he's kind of deaf. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. I never even really, I just found that information yes. out just now when we started talking yes, about them. Yes, he was a little deaf. And apparently you don't enunciate well, so he can't, couldn't read your lips very well. Well, I slur my words. Right. I slur my lips, so too. So you were a tough one for him to, to listen to. 
Yeah. We seemed to have a good time, though. We did. Yeah. I don't really remember them that much besides that it's little fun, bit of a night. Yeah. Did we go anywhere else after with them? Pizza. Oh, we saw it. And I burnt the <laughs> fuck out of the roof of my mouth. Oh. <laughs> Has anybody ever done that before? Like, when you, you're dying for a piece of pizza so bad that you just stick to the top of your mouth and blisters I've it. never had that happen, but. I actually, it, my top of my mouth and blistered. It hurt for like three <laughs> or the four days. Actually, you don't even know this. I didn't tell you. I am. You kind of did the first couple of days. Yeah, I'm like a piece of soda f- sticks to the yeah, top and just burns let it the cool down. Out of my wait mouth. like a minute. I can't. I can't Obviously. even wait one second. Well, I don't feel bad for you then. Oh, but there's nothing better than late night pizza when you're going home. It's your favorite. And we right, right. That's like one of my favorite things to do in life. Is I get know. A, is it get a Everywhere, pizza at two anywhere. In the morning. Yeah. Cheese steak at two in the morning. That that also happened. Oh, that happened a couple times. Cheesesteak once. Oh, pizza this trip. Times. Pizza, yeah. cheesesteak once. But yeah, Key West is cool. You go off the beaten path. There's all these little bars. We were going oh home. Oh, my God. We I know. Go- I wish we would have kind of figured out those little bars earlier. Yeah. We went and got a piece of pizza literally like 1, 2 in the morning, let's just say. one thirty. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we walk out, and there's like, you hear some music. Oh, hey, Kylie, let's go in there. Well, that, that was a yep. place that we were chicks sitting on Kylie's lap. But, <laughs> you know, it's just an odd place. It's like you're going into somebody's house. And it you was like in, legit house. You walk upstairs. It's, yeah, it's upstairs and downstairs. Yeah. You walk in, there's a bar downstairs and a bar upstairs, but it's like a it house. It was kind of cool. Yeah, it's like a house. All the furniture's out, and it's a bar. We did sit on a couch, though. It was one couch. Yeah. It was kind of cool. Yeah, there's all kinds of little places like that. Yeah. And like, you look, it looks like a house since ice cream shop. You know, like, a lot of that, yes. Yeah, or um, our favorite place. What? The Tipsy Rooster. Oh, we did hashtag, enjoy the Tipsy Rooster a hashtag lot. Hashtag Tipsy Rooster. We went there by default to get some Captain Morgan. It's my favorite place in the world now. And then we're like, well, let's just get a drink while we're here. And then we went every day. Well, the Tipsy Rooster is actually right on. It's like a bar on the side of the street with sand in front of it. <gasps> yes, it's like and a little play, beach bar. It's like a little beach bar. And there's but live music every night. Yeah. And it's, it's nothing. And a little tiny liquor store attached to it where you can just go buy bottles of booze or whatever. Right. Yeah. So we went we went and got a drink there on the way out at night. And we got a Sometimes drink on the, on the way, way in. in. But we sound like we, we just go to Key West just to party. But we actually right. didn't even go to party. just happened to be. Right. We went to what relax. What did you go to do? Oh. <laughs> we relaxed a little bit because we slept we in. We did relax a lot. Yeah, we lot. slept in a lot. We laid at the pool. Right. I enjoyed read our books. Enjoyed our you two weeks of podcasting off. Yes. Mm-hmm. I hope people out there enjoyed our other podcast. We put the right. part one uh, or part two of Jazz and part Navi two. up, you know, the, the Indian boys. And then, um, um, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Hopefully people listen to that. I, I got some some feedback on that, so that was good. Okay, great. But um, you know, while we were basking and relaxing in Key West, basking. But we did from our room. We had ocean. We were right on the water, so we saw the uh, sunset. I saw a every lot of night. sunsets. Yep. Yeah, a lot of cocks out there. Oh my god, there is, and not that roosters. Kind. A lot of roosters. Yeah, there are roosters freaking everywhere. Everywhere. Like there there's so no like lady chickens. There's just males. It's I don't weird. Get that. It sounds like Key West to me. <laughs> Oh, no. Sounds like the Adam and Eve bar. Or right. like the our Garden of Eden to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they they um at our hotel on the side of our on the side of our bed. Oh yes. They leave little packs of ear earplugs with roosters on them. In case the roosters are bother you. Like you can use So earplugs. it's a thing. That's obviously a thing. Really they didn't really bother me. They didn't bother me. I at just all. thought it was used to some kid like crying or something. I really did. Oh, really? I'm I like, know. I'm they like, have like weird like, like I would have like dreams or something of like like a kid crying and it's a rooster. I didn't have anything like that. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did wake up at one point at like it's a weird time. Oh no, I had like insomnia, so I was up at like two thirty in the morning, soberly, sadly. And you heard the yeah roosters. Uh huh. Oh, Must you sure it wasn't me farting? R- <laughs> yes, must have been the night I didn't really drink. I bet oh, it was. Okay. Yeah, that was the night we took that lady home. Right. And I had Jules. heartburn. Mm-hmm. Learned Jules will listen. That was also the, the Garden of Eden night, hence why I didn't dance with my top off. I had heartburn, wasn't feeling it. That was the Garden of Eden uh-huh. night? Uh-huh. Oh. It was. Yeah, you had like heartburn or yeah, something. Yeah, I did have heartburn. Yeah. We met this lady in a bar. Her name was Jules. She probably listened. She put our, she read, she signed up for a podcast. So she'll, hi, Hi, Jules. Jules. How are you doing? I guess we never <laughs> went out back in uh, Key West. Hope you're feeling well. But um, we go out, we, got to, we go out, and Jules, I, I didn't know she was that hammered. She must have been super drunk. I mean, drunk. I wasn't really drinking, so I was just watching you guys, like, pound it. Yeah, we're, 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 you know, we met a friend. She's showing us all the places. And so Kylie goes to the bathroom, and she says something kind of odd to me. Like, you'll never buy a drink in this town. I'm buying. I'm paying. I'm like, all right, Jules. No one buys my drinks ever. I'm always right. buying, right? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, sure. Thanks. Then she couldn't figure out her. <laughs> they, the lady wanted her zip code. She's given her area, area code. code. 
And she says, zip codes are five digits. She says, she Jules gives digits. her four digits. And I'm like, Jules, your zip code. Five your digits. zip code, five. five digits. So she finally gets it. This lady the bartender was all irritated with her. Understandable. So Kylie gets back. I'm like, um, we got to get her home or something. She's like, I'll call an Uber. She says, no, and where the she app like, is. She's, like, she's just all hey, over yeah, the place. Then I could see she hit a wall. And they're like, where are you staying? She's like, I'm right here, a mile down the road. Or Literally, she was staying. We figured it out. 450 400 feet, feet away. From Thankfully. where we were at. So me and Kylie guide this her lady back, home. Yes, to I'm her thinking, hotel room. oh my God, we're going to get her in the hotel room. This lady's going to die. We're going to get and accused And we're going to be murder. accused of murder no. or something. We didn't do anything. So all we do is be good Samaritans. We were going to be on a Dateline episode. That's all you thought. But huh. this is why Stop we found me. out Jules was so hammered. And Jules, if you're <laughs> listening, this is what we know. <laughs> in your room, you had a magnum fucking bottle of wine, red wine. You're by yourself, by the way. <laughs> oh, she, no. Well, she was waiting for her daughter to come in. Right. Yeah, she was super. And, 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 and don't get me wrong. Jules was super nice. We befriended her. Yes, we did. And, you know, and we're like good friends now, even though we only saw her for a couple hours in our life. Right. But anyway, um, um, we did her in a room, and she has a, a like a big giant bottle of wine. It's halfway gone. Yeah. And mind you, when we met her at the bar, she had only been in town for two hours. Well, I don't know about she, two. No, oh. no, two hours. She oh. said she just got here. She checked in. She said she went to the pool. Okay. I guess you can go to the pool for two hours. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Don't don't call me on <laughs> dumb stuff. <laughs> go with it. I just said, kind of, just go with me. Say yes to me. I never say yes to you. She I never fight says back. yes. I know. That's good. Everything I say, I just say yes. I gotta make it a little harder for you in life. Now that I'm 53, you say yes to everything. Because <laughs> you can't tell an old man no. Oh, cry. yeah. You'll cry. So you're just right. sad. You're gonna cry yourself to the bed every night if I say no. Right. About anything. Just say yes. <laughs> go along with me. <laughs> Yeah, make make me feel good. Okay. Jules. <laughs> I didn't realize. So she drank a half a bottle of this Magnum wine, which right. it was like a bottle of wine probably. No, no. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, then, yeah, This is before she went out and met us. Correct. And then she had a whole, like a handle of, of um, um vodka with a big chunk out of it. Not a huge chunk, I'm, but. Okay, let's call it three shots. Okay. That I'll, is about, I'll give it's like you this three much. shots. I'll give you three shots. Okay, so. We're assessing that she had three shots like, and a half oh. and a bottle of wine before she saw us at the bar. Right. And what is she drinking at the bar? Double vodka Double sodas. Double vodka sodas. One after the other. Kylie and I, the next day, are sitting at the pool and we're like, I guess she did drink a lot. How many did she have? So if you're counting a double shot, uh, one drink as two shots because it's a double. Yeah. We found in front of us, she drank 16 shots. Yes. We think. I can't believe Jules was standing. I'm impressed. I mean, she barely was. I'm I'm kind of impressed. Yeah, she's a uh, she, she's six one by the way, and big woman. Yes, you know, Jules. I didn't say you're fat. <laughs> I didn't say I say you're big boned, or whatever. You know, but anyway, we never met her daughter. We, we never didn't. went out. We liked her a lot, but we, Kylie and I, Jules, if you're listening, saved your life and got you back to I the mean, room. I mean, I think we might have. Oh, she could have been. She could have been taken advantage of. Oh my God! Yeah, she could have been. Uh, taken up to the... She could have fallen in the street. No, she could have been taken up to... What, what's the bar's name called again? Um, Garden of Eden. She could have been taken to fall in the street. Taken up to the Garden of Eden. All her clothes taken off and laid, in, laid on the floor of the Garden of Eden. I mean, I think worse things could happen. They would have that guy with a button laying on top of her or something like that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the guy with the button might have taken her home. <laughs> right, yeah. Yikes, Spikes. Oh, God. Um, but anyway, so we saved Jules, and that was our we good did. Samaritan deed. It is a good Samaritan deed, I feel. I think people listening to this probably just think, what is this vacation? I know. Like, this sounds sometimes, like the worst vacation ever, right? Sometimes I look back at like, our what, vacation, what and I'm do? like, what do we do on vacation? What do we do? That's if our we, most exciting like, thing. like, journaled everything, you'd be like, oh, my God, right. what's wrong with you two? Right. We this had a really is, exciting This is day. really what you do? We took this drunk woman back <laughs> to her room. It was super exciting. <laughs> And then Kylie. Yes. Do you know who's taking a drunk woman back to their oh, room a no. few times in their life? Hey, everybody. This is Joe LaMonica with LaMonica Custom Builders. You want a custom home from a Southern California premier home builder? Call me, Joe LaMonica with LaMonica Custom Builders. 310-465-3347. That's a legit question. What? How many drunk women is Joe taking back to a room? We'll have to ask him. Oh, there's, yeah, it's probably hundreds. Oh, Joe. This guy's Italian. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> He's Italian. He used to be a, a limo driver at one day. And a hockey player. And a hockey so. player. He's done it a lot of times. <laughs> oh, my God. A lot. He probably knows Jules. Oh, boy. For all I know. Maybe. But anyway, <laughs> K 
Key West. Yes. It was great. We Yes, it was great. We had fun. Would actually would love to go back. Yeah, we're going to go back. It, first of all, besides all the party stuff, let's let's put the party stuff aside. It was beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. The water was green. Weather. Different layers of green yeah. to blue. Beautiful water. The water would look like a lake. Yeah, really, really glassy. Still. Like no waves. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I was sunsets. not expecting that. It was beautiful. It is a beautiful place. Really good. Oh, my God. I can't speak. Really good restaurants. Really good rum runner. Oh, no. We were getting away from that, right? Yeah. yeah. Restaurants. We did restaurants eat some good restaurants. Great. Yeah. We had our friend um, um, from here say, go to, I, it looked like Saboni to me. <laughs> I mean, Sibone. Sibone, we found Sibone. out. Sibone. And it was a Cuban restaurant. Yes. Hashtag Sibone. Yeah. Look them up. At Sibone. El Sibone. What? El Sibone. Yeah. El Sibone. I wonder what that means. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to look that up. Bone me. Elsa okay. bone me. Yikes. <laughs> anyway, we went there. It's a Cuban restaurant. Everybody's mm-hmm. speaking Cuban. And um, so I got some kind of shredded beef that's kind of grilled with onions yes. and like sauce on it. And it was a big portion. It was large. I was like, holy crap, that's a lot of meat. And so I'm t- I ate about half of it. And I'm tasting it. And in the meantime, I got a side of mashed potatoes with it. They have mashed potatoes at a Cuban restaurant. I thought that was odd. I know. Were those good? I, yeah. I, I don't know. even taste them. No, you had a choice between, you know. Rice and you had lots of things, yeah. Papa's all carbs. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, Papa's fritas, which are fries. <laughs> Rice and beans. Mashed potatoes, which they called the mash. You could tell the Cuban the word Cuban was name. mashed potatoes, but it looked they like put mashed the potatoes. English next to it, yeah. Yeah, and so anyway, we got that. But I ate all this meat. A lot of meat. I was, I was like, there's was, no way he's eating all this meat. But I ate it all, and it sat. And I don't <laughs> know if you're an older gentleman out there, <laughs> or if it even happens in younger gentlemen, where. <laughs> The food sits right below your chest line, and yes. and it doesn't go. It just it, it must be your stomach's all the way filled up. But I was getting like hot meat sweats. <laughs> like my brother Mix. Marcus goes to this uh, Brazilian restaurant and he, he eats so much meat he starts sweating. Yeah, I think you. That's had what that I right. had. I had the. I know it was made for not a quite as thrilling evening, I guess, because you're like I just need to go home. And no, out. I said let's walk. <laughs> yeah. let's walk. We gotta walk. But oh my god, the restaurant was so good. And I ate so much. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I had garlic shrimp, which then made for a whole different problem. Yeah, she smelled, and I... (laughs) People eat garlic. Like, don't do that. You get those nasty burps. Women out there, don't do do that to your men. And men don't eat meat so much. (laughs) Don't eat so much meat. Disgusting. You ate so much meat. Wow. It was, yeah. I didn't know. So Next thing I know, it's gone. It was so good. I couldn't stop. I was just like, did you, I wasn't like paying attention to what you're eating. And I looked down. I was like, you ate all of that? <laughs> it was a lot. But it was so good. And we had, they had like authentic sangria there. Oh, yeah. The sangria and, was real uh, good. Yeah. Um, we didn't get any beer or anything. It was just the sangria. Yeah. The sangria was tasty. But yeah. That was good. I didn't. I couldn't even go get a piece of pizza after that. Nope, no was pizza to- that That night. was my toast night, man. Yep. I was just, oh my god, I am full as shit. I know. And you're on vacation, you can't even take a shit. Right, so you're <laughs> just sitting, meat just, sitting in there. Yeah, just meat. And you wonder in why what happened the other night happened. Oh, when I had diarrhea, like four <laughs> days later. Yeah, <laughs> Try everything. Not to say it. But oh, really? <laughs> everything just accumulated. All that meat yeah, finally came out. Everything just happened. So we're back in town now, trying to get back into shape, right, Keeks? I haven't done nothing yet, but, yeah, but next week, next week, hitting back. But you're trying, right? Had my better greens today. So oh, that's yeah. true. You know what the best meal in Key West I had? I just thought of this, oh, speaking of meat. I know. You can tell, tell the people. The first night we get there, I had to watch the football game. It's a, It was a Cincinnati-Buffalo we game, We were actually. just, like, hungry, too. The so one where like, the guy had the heart attack or whatever, you know, in the game. Yes. Yeah, it was, we were like, what the hell happened or whatever? So we didn't know where to go, and I look at it, and it says, Mom's Greatest Meatloaf or whatever. And I said, I'm going to get the meatloaf. I'm hungry. I've been on the plane all day. I know. I'm like, who orders meatloaf? In oh my the god, US? it was so good. You know, on the meatloaf, like, people. <laughs> I don't know if people eat meatloaf out You're there. You're a meatloaf not. connoisseur. Yeah, kind of <laughs> connoisseur of the loaf. Okay. And so, <laughs> if you eat, if you get meatloaf out, a lot of times they slice it, like you know, half inch thick, probably. Like a bread, yeah. Yeah, and then like, a, yeah, like a piece of banana bread or something. <laughs> but it's meatloaf. It's a meat bread. Yeah, meat bread. <laughs> it is, actually, it is. That's, that's why they call the meatloaf. That's why they call it loaf. I never thought. I never knew that. Stop it. Why do they call shoes loafers? I don't know that. Okay, see, then I don't know <laughs> that either. But anyway, um, oh my they God. slice it and they grill it, and then they put it on the mashed potatoes, gravy, green beans. So the girl that waited on us, some kind of, kind of foreign girl, didn't speak very good English. She says to me, <laughs> "This might have been the best words a woman's ever said." <laughs> I order the meatloaf, and she's. How would you like that? 
prepared. Cooked or bu- cooked. Yeah. And I go, what? Well, well done. Because I like it, like they crisp Crispy. it on the pan. Yeah. Best thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> I got it twice when I was there. Well, no, because we, we go to dinner. I get I tried to be a little authentic. I got fish tacos, which were delicious. Yeah, that and place is good. That place is called Jack, hashtag Jack Flats. And so, like, the next day, well, we had di- reservations the next day. But after that, we're like, you're like, well, let's, let's go back there. Let's get meatloaf for dinner. I'm like, can we not get me again? Can we mix it up? Who eats meatloaf and Key West? You're supposed right. to be drinking. But eating I, con, you know, I did con, promise con you right, yeah. that we would go again before we left, and we did. That was great. Better the first time because it was, it, was, it was good. But, yeah, no wonder. I had all that meat in me. No wonder so I had diarrhea when I got home. That's so much meat. I know. Not even, like, you know, flame and yawn or anything. It's like, nope. yeah. The Cuban restaurant, who knows what kind of meat that was? You don't even know. It was beef. I know, but you don't I know think. what it is. You did eat a lot of meat. Like no one's thinking about those it. Authentic restaurants. I yeah. mean, it was. I don't even hardly eat meat. It at home. was probably a part of a cow, at least. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was good though. Everything was good in Key, Key West. We had this place outside, like I said earlier, the Tipsy Rooster. They had the little bar on the street and the music yes. playing. They always had like a, a young lady or a guy playing uh, music, and we would go there and get a drink on the way out, and then get one on the way home. Yes, that was nice. I also enjoyed, I the which Tipsy we Rooster. finally like the. Second half of the trip because they had this little like permanent food truck that sold. They were called the the rooster treats. Oh, the mini donuts. Yeah, they had mini donuts and soft serve, and I'm yeah, like, we gotta cool. try these mini donuts. Those are so good. So one night, little baby mini fresh donuts. We got donuts. the mini donuts. These little doughboy donuts. And They're then it tiny. was. I always laughed because like another night you were like, well. I mean, don't you want some some donuts tonight? Like trying to get me to be like, let's go get donuts instead of saying, let's go get donuts. <laughs> I know. From the guy, I've ate eight loaves of meatloaf, and I'm just afraid to ask you to go get right. some little, little tiny baby donuts. <laughs> let's just go get the donuts already. Right. I'm like, get the donuts. Yeah. So who cares? Add a little more to our fatness. Right. Great. Least of our problems right now. Right. They were good mini donuts, though. Now, I like that place we went out to, Rick's. Like, Rick, are we gonna be able to put all these places on social media? Like, uh, like yeah, like well, the, we gotta remember all these places. I remember. We went to Rick's and we met a guy that's that's. I you know. well, see, I give myself credit for this one because you are a person that likes to go back to the same place every time. Right. Well, my name is Rick. Right. Well, and so I don't like to. I like to, especially when we're someplace new. I like to try out, like go to different places. Like, right. I feel like you would have been like, let's go to Irish Caverns and Sloppy Joes every night. Every single night. And I was like, well, let's mix it up. And so we're walking around and we walk, like, I'm like, well, what about Rick's? And I could hear music playing. So it made you go into Rick's. Yep. Which turned out great. Which turned out great. They had a singer who was making fun of everybody. These guys are probably like my age, maybe a little older, and he was just having a ball. He was. Um, There was all these people in there, and he was, you know, he was like, show your tits, you know, doing all this stuff. But that couple fascinated me. Oh, yes. Rick's. There was a couple. A guy we that love, was in his. If you haven't noticed from any other podcast, we love observing people, couples, whatever. Right. So this Figuring couple. Figuring out their there, life story. Regular looking guy. Not not very good looking, really. Like nothing great. Not horrible, not great. Not horrible. Just average, an average guy. Average guy, about 42, 43. A little gray. We were debating. He definitely he was dyed his younger. hair. So yeah. he was old enough that he needed to dye yeah. his hair, not gray. Right. And he had a reason to dye his hair because he was with some young hottie. But they were married because they both had rings they on. They both had rings. I yes. found it. I'm like, they're married? So I'm like, second wife, she's yeah. like 23. And the guy and the guy playing the guitar is like, holy shit. She's <laughs> ni- very nice looking. She was nice looking. Very, and, she was. A very tight little dress, all tan, yes. perfect little body. But sorry, Keeks. But I'm not um, offended. Yeah, Kylie knew her too. You saw her, right? And so this couple, we kept seeing them everywhere we went. It then we kept so saying funny. no. We or we weirdly girl, were stalking them, but it was so because I'm like, she's foreign. It's a foreign, and he, you're like, no, she's not. I'm like, yes, she is. Yeah, was she I was foreign? Right. She was. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. she was. So this guy, I don't know. And they, and we found out. I think they were from Michigan. I don't know. They were on a flight to Dallas. I know they were on a flight to Dallas well, too. Where they went after? I have no idea. I don't either. We kept seeing this couple, and the I guy know. would be like kind of protecting her because she was kind of wear these really nice, pretty dresses. Well, she's young and yeah. probably very naive. Yeah, and so and bless she, her heart had no rhythm. She kept dancing with no rhythm. She was at all, having so much fun in dancing. But no she one had even no rhythm. Cared because people just wanted to look at her. Right. And then the husband, you could see, was all insecure. Like. Is, I'm like, hey, there's, and always call her was the dress girl because every time we see so her, we she saw her again, another she had another nice, sparkly dress I'm on. Like, That's a nice dress. She wears some nice dresses, this girl. I said, Kylie, get some dresses. Get some of these dresses. You want me to get some sparkly dresses? Yeah. Next time. It's well, happening. I mean, you don't really wear sparkly. She was wearing them she in Key West. She was rocking them. Yeah. Kylie, you you look, look, I thought you looked good in Key West. You, you had a lot of compliments on what you wore in Key West. I did? Yeah. Oh. 
people you probably just didn't people didn't notice what you they were saying to you, but they oh. were. Yeah. I'm like I did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Every time it's funny. I she, learned she this puts good outfits in together. Key West, and then yeah, as of l- yesterday too. I like to wear. I'm a hat person. I like to wear hats. I enjoy them. And so right. we I, do our new headshots for the podcast. Yeah. we're gonna wear a hat. I, yes, and so I had a fedora hat in Key West, and yeah, once I started wearing that hat because I forgot mine or didn't bring mine, so I had to buy one. But wore the hat, and I started getting, like, tons of compliments on the hat. You're a hat complimenter person. And I'm like, and then I got compliments last night. Well, speaking of hats. What? We just ordered new hats. With Am the I new actually going to get one of these? Because I didn't get one of the last ones. Um, because there's one more left. I mean, I, just, <laughs> I have one more on my desk. I keep this on my desk for promo. If you oh, can see it right here. Yeah, but I've, the new hats. Maybe you'll get a new one. You then. can get a new one for I sure. should get a new one because I designed them. Yeah, and I'll send them to our sponsors and everything else. I still got to get that stuff to Rob. Um but and then, uh, like I said, if any, we got a few people going to get some more wine glasses out. Anybody, yeah, Ashley wants, wants a couple. one. I got We got to get them to Ashley. Yeah, we got to get people some wine. Amanda wants some wine glasses. We said, yep, we're going to get them out. So if you want them still for free, <laughs> hit us up. <laughs> hit They're us still up. free at this point. Leave a they comment might for us. Not always be. I was laughing because we got a shit ton of com- comments and everything on social media and everything this week. But the funniest one I said, it wasn't even a comment. He said something, but his hashtag name or, or at handle was. Billy Bong Thornton. <laughs> I wonder what he does in his spare time. I have no idea, yeah. but I thought that was... You don't have any idea? Billy Bong... Well, I mean, yeah, he's just this <laughs> high guy yeah. or something. <laughs> Billy Bong Thornton. <laughs> that is a pretty funny name. But anyway, the hats are coming. I'm excited. All right. Kylie's new logo. Right. Kind of looks my like design. if you look at it's this logo design. here. It's this this logo, but different colors. Right. Tiffany blue it just and hot okay, pink. From the guy that's baby. currently wearing Tiffany blue. Why am I wearing Tiffany blue? Take a good look at your shirt. It's green. It's not. There's a Tiffany box right there, and you match it. Oh. <laughs> we got one comment on social media. Mel, Mel, Mel calls and says, I got another name for your house. We're I know. She's to name on our it. house. Casa Key West, which we're not going to name our house. Because we're not from Key West or I anything. I know. I need more experiences uh-huh. in and Key West And then I first. thought of a name. What? Just before the podcast. House of Rejuvenation. I don't know if we can do Rejuvenation. Why? Do we, we're, this house rejuvenates people? I don't think. I like have no idea. Right. <laughs> but I thought that was a good name. But we're still thinking of a name. So hit us up with a name for the house if you want. Please do. Please do. I'm still thinking of a name. It'll come to me one day. What was that one a while ago that Rob from G&E gave us? I can't remember. I do remember like the that. Bang now. Down Shack or something? No, that was yours. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Bang Down Shack. But <laughs> That's the, a horrible name, by the way. <laughs> no, I don't know what it is. Stabbing, oh, Stabbing Cabin. Okay. <laughs> that was good. I liked it, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Yipes. That was a pretty good one. But, yep, we are back. We are rejuvenated. Yes. <sighs> And we still have our sponsors. <laughs> You're going to hear from now. This segment of Life with Eric is brought to you by G&E Painting and Drywall, servicing Reno, Tahoe, and Truckee areas for over 25 years. Call G&E today for all of your painting and drywall needs at 775-833-0551. Kylie? Eric? What do you think about my gray beard? Do you think I should go natural? What do you mean by that? Like, I had, when I came over from Key West, I had a full gray beard. Oh, I love it. I think it's sexy. I know, but, you know, sometimes I'll touch up my sides or whatever if I get a little too gray or oh, whatnot. I don't care. If I went full gray, you'd be okay? Mm-hmm. Why do you think the gray, why do, because I was, I was talking to Justine, mm-hmm. who's my agent. Yeah. And you know her. And she was like, are you getting a little more gray? And I said, well, yeah, I was back from Key West. Beard, I'm a little yeah. more tan, a little more gray. She when goes, your beard grows out, you, yeah. it looks great. And she goes, I was telling uh, my boyfriend, Rob, I like the gray, but he's all weirded out. I think yeah. a lot of guys are weirded out by gray. Or is, at what point do you just say, I'm just going to go gray? I don't know. For a guy, I think it's I mean, way girl, easier. For a girl, it's a big step. Yeah, I think for a guy, it's way easier. But I, I dig it. Okay. It may, it depends. It could make you look older. I don't know. Right. I'll tip, but next time you grow it out a little bit, I'll let you know if I feel like you look. Maybe we should do like pictures. Like, do you look older in the picture, or do you just look oh, more distinguished? See. Yeah, it might look good, and who knows? Yeah. The Life with Eric podcast is brought to you by Petrilla Concrete Construction and DoTerra Essential Oil. As you can get those from Aisla Mueller, and her handle is at This Essential Life. <laughs> this Very podcast dramatic. is also sponsored by Eric's Concrete Pavers, Rock House Masonry, and Tahoe Pervious Pavements. When it rains, it drains. 
And Kiki? Yes, love. We have a lot to talk about still. We have a lot to go tomorrow. <laughs> we have to talk tomorrow. about. Uh, tomorrow? Ne- next week. We're doing it tomorrow? I yeah, didn't sign up for this. Too. No. <laughs> no. I have to, <laughs> next week I have to talk about my man more. I have oh. to talk about fucking Jackie Schimmel, <laughs> who won't call me back. <laughs> I call her and call her. You won't call, you call me. Call her. You call yeah. her. You never number. I guess. I think I do. <laughs> and we have to talk about the Casey Anthony documentary. Oh my god, I forgot about that. We do. We, we should be dumb about, by it. Yeah, by we have then. to talk about the bum, homeless person. Wait, people without homes. Hom- What's it called when you're homeless? Um, oh my god, what is it called? What is the new people without house? Unhoused. Yeah, an unhoused man or a bum. I was wearing Kenny Bunkport shirt. Was Kenny Bunkport. Oh yes. I was like, well, now you're telling the story. So no. okay. okay, I'm not telling the story. Okay, save we have it. A then. Lot, save yeah, it. We have a lot to talk about. We have to talk about tipping at fucking Starbucks. Oh yeah, you were talking about that today. We have all this stuff to talk about. So much stuff to get through. But the main thing I'm talking about is Jackie Schimmel if she doesn't get back to me. All right. And then I'm going to be real mad. Okie dokes. And what happens I when see- I get mad? I don't even know. I go to the Tipsy Rooster. <laughs> We got to talk about that guy fucking snoring on the airplane. Oh, I forgot about that guy. And did I mention my man mower? That's what we got to talk did. about. You did. Your man mower? Does the man mower go through gray hair? I think so. I would say yes. <laughs> gray hair is <laughs> thicker and wiry, you know? I would say yes. <laughs> Dear? Yes, sir. It's that time. Last call. So we are, who are we cheersing today? Well, we have to cheers you, darling. Right. Happy birthday, This is the my best love. birthday present I got <laughs> right here. This is it. Thank you. Yes. Thank with, you, without dear. you, there would be no life with Eric. There would be no life with Eric with you. You'd be miserable. You would probably right. I be. Guess, I guess on that note, also then maybe we should. You'd probably act a lot younger. Right. <laughs> probably be with someone a lot younger. It's fine. Well, probably. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. And then also, I guess, since we're talking about me involved in this, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. When was it? Yeah, the 3rd. January 3rd. Yeah. That's why we went to Key West, ultimately. Yes. Not to ditch the kids, Skylar. <laughs> not <laughs> not to... And a little anniversary right? getaway. Yep. It's a happy birthday. Happy we'll anniversary. We'll see. We'll go on vacation with the kids on... In... July. Newport Beach. <laughs> in July. They don't want to go on vacation with us anyways. We're not fun. According to them. Right. <laughs> Sometimes we're fun. It depends, yes. Our credit card is fun. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> it's more than that. <laughs> Subscribe or follow us on wherever you listen to your podcast, or just go to our website at www.lifewitheric.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media for updates and a closer look into my life with Eric. To all of our listeners out there, remember, it's always happy hour here. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. You have to love me. It's my birthday. I know. No. Uh, <laughs> Sound like my mother. Yeah, you did.